Welcome, 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 y'all, to So You Mean to Tell Me, Season 2, Episode 5. If you read the title, then you know this episode is going to be about your first big move, getting your first apartment, or getting your first place. So I brought Trey with me to tell our story. What's up, everybody? How y'all feeling? I got the questions on the phone, and I didn't let him see the questions, y'all. So I'm going to ask the questions, and we're going to both answer, and we're going to just get right into it. But I do want to also say Happy New Year! y'all i haven't made a video since the new year so big 2024 so many big things make sure y'all follow on instagram i'll leave it down below at um.mind.ju so you can be there for all the updates and see all the new things coming and be there for the schedule so let's get right into it all right baby so the first question is was houston the first option no, it was not. The first option was Florida. It was Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And for me, I mean, Florida is Florida. Only thing bad about Florida is the weather. So it was going to be cool for me regardless. But I don't know about you. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I feel like I was going to be happy either way. Like, Florida would have been cool. Texas is cool. I think... The thing for us is Florida probably would have been better because we're from Georgia. And so, like, we're just, it would, we would have been closer to family that way. I feel like we, we would have been able to see family, uh, be able to have people be closer to us and things like that. That is one of the big things I feel like you should take into consideration when you're moving, where you're going and where your family is going to be at. Because if you are somebody who wants that support or, you know, want to be able to see your family on a more consistent basis than we do, then you probably want to consider moving like in a closer proximity. Right. Because uh, yeah. in reality, Florida really not that, that long of a drive. So we could be there and back in no time. But out here... We're in Houston, and you want to tell them how the drive was? Hey, man, Houston is its own state. Let's go ahead and begin with that. But the drive from Atlanta to Houston was about 11 hours. Right. Let's just say at least 11 hours, which it really shouldn't have probably been that long. But uh, it was 11 hours. We left when it was daylight. We got here. It was pitch black, midnight, you know. And uh, I mean, driving here wasn't really, it really wasn't a problem until we got here. Until we got here, we started getting around all these Texas roads, the highway is crazy. She was losing her mind. I was asleep. <laughs> I was definitely passenger princessing, y'all. I wasn't worried about nothing. I, me and Echo, my baby, my baby Beagle, oh, we was, we was big chilling. I, we, we made like, maybe how many stops three stops i know we yeah. stopped in new orleans right yeah i know we because where did we get canes at where were we in new orleans when we got canes uh i really don't remember y'all i would have to go back into like my memories on instagram but i know we stopped in new orleans i know we stopped in alabama and it was one more was it mississippi oh it might have been mississippi i don't freaking know y'all but yeah we we it was I was asleep. I was chilling, and then I only got up when it was time to eat or while well, Echo for real. But he did such a. I want to say that Echo, my baby, y'all. He did such a good job. He is the best dog in the world. He didn't cry. He didn't. He didn't do anything. Like he was chilling. Me and him, sleep. So yeah, the drive here. You know, hey, we made it. You know, no, I stop. I'm just like that. <laughs> gotta tell them we forgot to tell y'all the biggest part first of all the drive was good until we made it like he said so boom little backstory y'all i have a pontiac uh 07 pontiac and they told me y'all <laughs> they told me y'all they said girl you are not gonna be able to make it to houston they said do not drive that car you not gonna be able to make it. Yeah, I'm bawling crying. He'll tell you. He was right there. He was just looking at me like I was crazy. I was bawling crying because I'm like, what do you what do you mean? Like, lease has already been signed, movement is already in motion. Who ain't going to Texas? Who? I'm going. So 
you know, they told me I had a blown head gasket. Didn't really understand the severity of what that really is. All I know is I put my stuff in the car, told him, let's go. And that's what we did. And we made it, kind of. We made it until we were literally 15 minutes from the apartment. So we were in Houston. We just weren't there. But the good thing about insurance, <laughs> I just got my junk towed. So we made it. Yeah, 15 minutes away. Yeah, everything just went downhill from there. It was what was a long night turned into a longer night. But like she said, hey, we made it. We got where we needed to go. So at the end of the day, that's all that matter. <laughs> yeah, that was nothing but the Lord himself. Like, on, on everything, like, I definitely prayed. And the Lord definitely heard me. Like, he definitely answered my prayers with the quickness. Because I just we had to get there yeah it wasn't looking too good leading up to it 48 hours prior nah it wasn't looking like no houston right. but hey hey we here he's so right all right baby so how did you prepare for the move i think i'll answer this one first because y'all no. know hold on i think i should go first only because it was simple I did it. Just, <laughs> you just, you just go. That's the most <laughs> guyest answer y'all ever hear. First of all, what? Well, I mean, you know, you just, you just, you get your head, hit, get your head together. You know, you're going from one state to another, and whatever happens, happens. You know. But that's just me, though. I don't know. I don't know about you. That's how y'all know. <laughs> if I didn't do what I did, we would have been out okay first of all how did i prepare for the move this is what i did i made a notes and i collaborated with him so i added him to the notes so anytime i made edits you know he could see it or whatever and i labeled the notes by the area of the house so i had the living room i had the kitchen i had the bedroom i had the bathroom i had the patio and then i had things like yeah i had things like uh, the rent I had, um, what else did I have? Like the community fees, like stuff like that I had, or, or the application fees for every apartment, not just the one that we picked, every single one. That's how we did our comparisons. And like I said, this was our first apartment, like our, well, my first apartment. He had an apartment, but it's not the same thing. It was like one of those like, well, not to downplay it, but it was like a, like a student living apartment, like back when we were in college, but like getting your own like apartment apartment so this was like this is our first apartment apartment so i wanted to make sure that we were prepared but i will say like like he said some things you just can't prepare for like some things you just can't prepare for i made sure like we had our list we got as many things off the list that we could like i said we drove in the little two-door pontiac so we couldn't bring that much stuff so we brought what we could in reality it was a lot of stuff we brought a TV. That's hey, that's that's big enough. A big suitcase. I brought like three suitcases. Like it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot. So yeah, technical difficulties. But yeah, he's right. We, we it was a lot of stuff, but still, it was a lot of stuff. But a lot of stuff got thrown away too. Well, not thrown away, but you know, not taken with us. So you know that too but that was that's really how we prepare and then another thing was saving every check like even if you got a check and the check was short save something off that check like i made sure every i made sure we had a stash because i was very much aware that it probably wasn't gonna go the way we wanted it to go originally like you know there's always roadblocks the car was already acting crazy so i wasn't sure how things were gonna work out so i wanted us to be prepared for anything bad and luckily we did do that because when we got here the job situations wasn't jobbing the way they was going job not at all not at all like the jobs we thought we had everything figured out like that's the thing you think you have everything figured out you think you have everything, everything planned out you think you know what you're doing and you know we did our best i'm, I'm proud of us because you know this is a year from then you know it's almost been a year now and you know we're still here you know 
right here. You know. Living it up. Yeah. <laughs> having, having a blast, you know, so we, we did it. So that's that. At least we did it. But, you know, if if I could go back, like if I know what I, knowing what I know now, I think we, we would have been better prepared. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like I say, uh, even though you might have a job lined up, maybe have like other jobs in mind. Or maybe have like, you know, just different ideas because we just were really like out of luck with the whole job department for quite a while. Not not, not a while, but a while. Like if we didn't save up, we would have been like early eviction notice. <laughs> for real. So, okay, from a one through 10, how much do you enjoy Houston? Let's see. Right now, I'm gonna give it a six only because we haven't really did nothing yet. So I don't really know what it got to offer. We don't really, you know, go out too much. At least not yet. So, but you know, for what it's worth, what I've seen so far, I mean, it seemed pretty cool. Like, it seemed like it's a lot of stuff to do, but just ain't got there yet. <laughs> Wait. I don't like the heat, but I got used to the heat. Now it's cold, and I don't like the cold. So <laughs> it's like, you know, you gotta, you just gotta pick and choose. <laughs> uh, six is crazy. I didn't think he was gonna go that low. I, will, I will say seven. Six is a failing grade. I'm gonna say seven. Gonna Not really. Like, okay, you make it sound like it's that bad. No. Okay. How? I'll, I'll, I'll do seven then. I'll do seven. <laughs> you can't switch it up. He said six. Six is a failing grade. Like a sixty. That's a D. Because I do like it. Oh, okay. oh wait. All right. Yeah. That's it. Right. Yeah. That's a D. I don't. If you say, look, if you say so, six, seven. It's cool. I give it seven, eight, because, like you said, yeah, the weather, that weather was unpreparable. Um, you, it's just so darn hot, y'all. It's just, and it's not hot like Georgia heat. It's hot, so dry. It's just so dry. It's just so hot. And then now you wanted to give us the flipperoonie. It's freaking freezing. It's freezing, y'all. And my iron is low. But the funny thing is, you know. It's freezing, freezing here, but back home is even, it's you know even worse. So, like I said, you know, you got used to the one oh eights and the one oh sixes and the one tens. Now that it's fifty and sixty degrees, we think it's the end of the world. Cause, yeah, I don't like that. But he's right. We really don't go out that much. Like that's never really been yet. Yeah, that's never really been my thing, but we are gonna go start going out more. Um, we work a lot. That's our thing. Like we're like workaholics, but we are gonna start, you know, making more time to go out for other places. But that does lead me to the next question because the next question is, do you have a favorite spot so far? Mm, not really. I know we when I've been to a few spots. Cause that's one thing, y'all. We don't go out, but we eat. We'll find another eating spot. If you a foodie, you gon' you gonna eat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> BB's Tech <Texas> Orleans. <laughs> that's the spot right there. <laughs> anyway, mine is <laughs> Fusion Taco. Okay, yeah, that is that. I ain't gonna lie, that is our new little spot. A. Hey. Two dollar tacos, two dollar. Uh, what is it? <laughs> no, baby, it's two dollar, two dollar Tuesday tacos, five dollar mojitos. Same difference, y'all. Five dollar <laughs> mojitos. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll be there every Tuesday. Yeah, that is the new spot. Yeah. We always, I always wanted to be like, cause I work in the restaurant industry and I see a lot of my regulars, and I was like, hmm, babe. I really want to be a regular at a spot. We ain't never been no regular at a spot. So, like, we we regulars at that spot. Yep. They love us. We love them. <laughs> Facts. Okay. So, what was the hardest thing to prepare for? Moving. Oh, well, you said you ain't get prepared at all. So, I guess this question for me. I mean, I guess probably just a job. Yeah. 
Cause I saw how that went. It wasn't bad, but you know, it could have been better. Yeah, it was difficult. I would say the the job definitely was the hardest thing to prepare for. That and if I had to say something different. I don't know. Yeah, just the jobs. <laughs> There's nothing. Nothing else was really too difficult for real. Okay, well maybe finding like new spots. You know, cause like when you're used to a place, you know, okay, that's my grocery store. Boom, that's my Walmart. I don't like Walmart, but you know, that's my do no do. That's my you know, like that's my store. Like now we had to disclaimer. Who was gonna tell me Houston don't have no Publix? <laughs> Y'all, what the freak? Publix, like, come on now. Nah. Come on now. Nah. Come on now. Nah. Publix is a necessity. Folks ain't got no Publix. Folks ain't got no Moe's. Shout out to Randall's. The grocery store. No. That's what I was going to say. Like, you know, you know, we had to learn new spots. Randall's. Like, what is that? But it's cool. But what is worth? You get the job done. You know, it do, but it ain't public, y'all. It ain't public. <laughs> Did anything happen that you weren't prepared for? For me, the heat. Yeah, literally, what I was gonna say. For me, the heat. Like, and it's crazy because y'all. What was their fa- favorite line? What they? Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. It's it not ain't. Usually this yeah, hot. It's, it's never usually this hot. You know, this is the hottest it's been in a while. They, oh, I guess it just chose to wait till we get here. Facts. <laughs> they kept saying that to us. And we were just like, bro, what are y'all talking about? It's burning up. Y'all trying to tell us we brought the heat from Georgia? Because no, baby, y'all is the heat. But it is, it is crazy because my dad, he's stationed in Colleen. So I've, and we've visited Houston once before like some years and years and years ago and I remember it being so hot and I have eczema and it was so hot and so dry that I had a freaking outbreak like I had a freaking rash on my arm because I was so freaking hot and so I had an idea of how hot it was but I don't know maybe I just couldn't remember properly because I was just so darn hot right, so yeah I the heat is you can't prepare for it Okay, so this is a big one because I know a lot of people are moving. Sometimes they don't have their family support. So do you feel like you had your family support moving? Mm. Yes and no. Uh, Yeah, I know they probably didn't want me to leave. But at the same time, it was one of those things where you know you you grown so you can make your own decisions but come on now. they ain't had to say it but yeah i say half and half i say it depends on what family you <laughs> right that's what i say half and half <laughs> nah like i mean come on obviously we're young you know so your family wants what's best for you your family wants you to not make the same mistakes they did so i for him his family i I love i love the way his family handled the situation his family was i feel like his family was very supportive um in the sense of i know i'll have to give them credit because he is a slacker so he told them very last minute like we knew we was leaving we knew we was leaving we knew we knew we been new and he told folks like a month before we was gonna uh, i said like two <laughs> and we knew a year plus that we was leaving and he you know so that's the type of stuff he do but anywho like i just feel like i just feel like his family was supportive for you know they didn't my my family they knew like i said that year plus and you know, my mom, she just really wanted me to come closer to her, and that's understandable. And my dad, he was all for it, because like I said, he's in Colleen, so that's nothing. So um, I feel like, you know, I feel like they're, they're supportive. You know, they call, they answer the phone, they help me with things I didn't know about. Like, I didn't know about money orders. 
like I knew about them because I would go with my mom she went and got hers but I didn't know how to go get my own like I didn't know where to go to get it uh just like things like that like things that you need your family support for things that you don't learn in school like stuff like that they they were there for us so you know I would say they were supportive as supportive as supportive as they could be Uh, okay two more questions or three uh what have you enjoyed the most about houston let's see i don't know i'm trying to think yeah you go first uh if i had to pick what i have enjoyed the most uh, it's probably gonna be food related like i really have been bumping with the pizza like the pizza is not better than atlanta <laughs> sorry to tell you it's not shout out to the a man anywho it's not better than atlanta and god knows it, i can't find a good wing spot out here so if you watching this and you from houston please let me know where i can get some wings and let me tell y'all something you know how they say everything's bigger in texas I'm not a big wing kind of gal. So the wing spot you talking about got big wings, keep it to yourself. What my mom used to always say, I don't want to feel like I'm eating no people. For real though, why the drumstick look like a whole leg? I'm good. Uh, yeah, all right, let's see. Okay, so you said food. Mm, okay, I would say food, but I don't know. Maybe just... I'm gonna say being around all, all the different type of people. That's just cause I'm really just not used to it. So when I got out here, it was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I done seen about 30 parades. That's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they just they be representing out here. So hey, you gotta rock with it. That is true. It really does feel like. A, a melting pot here. Uh, we, we see like a lot of diversity, and I really do appreciate that. That was gonna be my second answer, so you stole my answer. Mm-hmm. That that's a good answer. Like I do appreciate all the people I meet in. I do appreciate like all like everything. Like I like that. Okay, two questions left. So, were you nervous about moving in together as a couple? <laughs> No, I wasn't nervous at all. I was actually pretty excited. You know, I mean, I seemed like it, but not really too expressive. But I was ready. You know, I thought it was gonna be pretty fun, cool. I know it was gonna come with its challenges, but you know, hey, I love it. I was nervous, y'all. <laughs> Of course she was. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a nervous wreck. He knows this. I was excited too, though, for sure. But I was nervous just because, like, it's a new environment. Like, we moved. We moved. I don't want to say the the wrong number. I, I, I just had it in my head. But it was a lot of miles. I want to say it's in the 8,000 range. I could be wrong. You're very wrong. You think so? Was it 8,000 miles? I could be very wrong. What? I don't know. I feel like it was up there. (laughs) I feel like it was up there. 8,000? I could be very wrong. Let's see. The fact that I was only going... Yeah, let's just... I ain't even going to say my number. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it was... 8,000 is crazy. How many miles? I don't know. Yeah, you drew. Okay, 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 okay. I was going to say 600. Okay. (laughs) So, so... I added a number. I added a number. So not eight thousand, eight hundred. It's really no baby. Yeah. Eight hundred. I had the eight right. Just the extra number on. But that's a, that's still a lot of miles. It was almost see what threw me off we was almost at a thousand. We we here, we here. But yeah, that's a that's still a, a big number. That's a that's a lot of miles away. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember when I was 200 miles away, and I thought that was far. So, 
yeah yeah that's true we are we're very far especially because like my mom my mom was already far like when i when we went to college we were still going to college in georgia but my mom had moved to north carolina so she was already far and then like now i moved further so you know it is hard like that's the hardest part i feel like just not being able to see your family like everybody's like oh i want to leave i can't wait to go i can't wait to get away like yeah it's nice having your own space that's one of the best things like being able to have your own space not have nobody tell you what to do no none of that it's your rules your house all that good stuff but you know it's nice to have your family definitely (laughs) okay so it's gonna be the last thing i didn't even write this question down so that's why i kept changing the number but the last thing is if you had to give somebody their first time moving advice what would it be make sure that you prepare I had the saying in my head it's gone but we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it at that make sure that you prepare and then when you do it just do it you know what I'm saying Nike don't sue me just do it you know what I'm saying you gotta jump out you gotta jump out there you know what I'm saying because whatever happens happens you just gotta take it on that's facts definitely get prepared i think that a lot of people i don't know like you're never gonna be i feel like i feel like you're never gonna be a hundred percent ready so like once you feel ready enough or once you feel like you've you've done that then i say just take the leap and do it because i was very nervous like we were very nervous but this is what i what i knew i wanted to do this is what we planned to do so I just say make sure that you plan. Make sure you have plan A through Z. Make sure you have plans and backup plans and plans for your backup plans and backup plans for your backup plans. And plans for those backups. And just make sure you have plans and ideas. And You know, because people people are going to shoot down your idea. People are going to shoot down your dream. People are going to look at you crazy. We're going to Texas. We're going to Houston. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. That's why I said it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just got to make sure that you are sure. Make sure that this is what you want to do because you are going to get those side eyes and you are going to get those people who don't believe in you. But as long as you believe in yourself, as long as you plan it out, as long as you save, 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 save. Um, oh, another thing I want to say, y'all, a big piece of a big piece of advice, something that we didn't do. Like I said, we were in Georgia and we were like trying to like save money. So we were working a lot and it was like a, not, not a um, quick move. Cause we, 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 it was like a year, right? Well, like I in said, we Georgia? Had, yeah. No, it was like six months. Well, like I said, we had a year plus that we knew we was going, but then oh. we went to Atlanta instead of going straight to Texas. So then we had another six months. So yeah, so it was like that. But dang, where was I going with this? Your extra piece of advice. Oh, right. My extra piece of advice. So we didn't we didn't fly to Houston to tour the apartment. That's something I highly recommend you do not ever do is move somewhere you don't physically see. Like we were able to we uh virtually toured it and that was nice. But um yeah and i liked and i liked the apartment so it worked out it worked out pretty okay for us but like for other people like i hear a lot of horror stories and still i would have rather to i wanted to i want to feel it i want to touch it i'm gonna i want to smell it i need to be here you know what i'm saying so i recommend coming physically there before you ever put your name on any contract definitely yeah (laughs) Yeah, that's that's one that's one big thing I feel like we did wrong. I feel like that's one big thing I feel like we did wrong. We should have came out here to uh, view the apartment. So that's a big one. That's a good piece of advice. Stay prepared. Get your money. View your apartment. Make sure you read your lease and document. You you know I think it's crazy that people don't read those documents. Y'all get it together. Read those lease and documents. Read anything that you put your name on, please. Read everything. Make sure this is what you want to do. 
make sure this is the person that you want to do it with make sure y'all have this talks make sure y'all understand each other's space and boundaries just make sure that all of these things are talked about before the move you don't want to get there and then right right yeah you don't want to and but we've we've lived together before so it wasn't like a first time moving in together type of thing because like i said he had an apartment but still our own just us two our own spot there's different you know what i'm saying there's different rules and there's different uh things that people you know want for themselves so yeah that's our big move story y'all almost went down in the car made it here almost ain't had no job got the jobs yeah we uh, <laughs> we had a wild ride sustain it and maintain it man. yes baby <laughs> sustain it and maintain it words of wisdom so y'all if you're planning on your big move i say please make sure that you list things out stay prepared all that other good stuff this was a really good episode baby i appreciate you for coming on here with me oh yeah man you don't have to come you know say what needed to be said about our experience and all that yeah it's crazy but hey, yeah. yeah we really are and I, i'm really i really am happy that we did do it like even like all the nerves even sometimes still being nervous sometimes sometimes you still get nervous about things that are going on like you just don't know but it it has been like crazy like in a good in the best way possible i really just i just love being here with him so we're definitely writing a book in about 15, 20 years, so oh, yeah. stay tuned. Facts. We're going to have to write this story down. Y'all wouldn't believe to have. So if you like this story, if you like this episode, then like this video. Please make sure y'all comment. Hashtag mind you. Let me know that you're here. Subscribe for sure. Because we got to we gotta make sure other people start seeing the videos, y'all. And that's the only way. You got to like, comment, and subscribe. What you say, baby? I said the channel. Channel going up. Oh, man. yeah. Facts. Facts. The channel is going up. We're at 40 subscribers right now. We're on the road to 50. We're really on the road to 100, but we're taking, you know what I'm saying, big steps. So we're on our next road to 50. Big, I mean, small wins, but still big victories. So I appreciate y'all for being here until next Saturday. So you need to tell me. We out. Bye.